Hello, it's the 22nd of December. Welcome to Dyer's Prize Unboxing for December 2022. It's taken me a while to get going this month. The, um, the whole family's been ill. We've all had a horrible bug. We're well into the second week of it now. It doesn't seem to be going. Um, but anyway, we're getting on with it. I'm also, as you can see, I'm dressing up and I'm getting on with my video entries and TikTok competitions as well because you have to get into the Christmas spirit regardless of whether you've got a bug or not. So anyway, I've got some prezzies to open. Prezzies? Prizes is what I mean, isn't it? So um, we'll start with this one because it's already here. This is a bottle of champagne, which is really nice. And I won this on day one of the advent competitions. Um, and it came hand delivered from Majestic Wine with a little note from Market Scan. And Market Scan are a marketing company, a local one actually. I think they're based in Chichester in Sussex. And I followed them on Twitter and I saw on the 1st of December their tweet at about half eight in the morning, the first of their daily giveaways. And it said, um, find out what you need to do on LinkedIn. So I popped over and it said, the first person to share a selfie with their favorite business book will win a bottle of champagne. And I couldn't see any entries and I thought, right, let's do it. It's got quite a lot of books, but my husband Rob's got even more. So I went rummaging in his uh, bookshelves and I found one about, uh, it was called How to Look Smart in Meetings. And I thought, oh, that's perfect. So I took a selfie and won some champagne and then it arrived a couple of days mm. later. So that's really nice and we will have that on Christmas day. Uh, also another little win on the 1st of December was um, these little lights from m &S. So this was in their um, Sparks app. And on day one, everybody won a prize. So quite a lot of people won gin, Prosecco, um, things like that. And you just needed to go and collect it. You didn't need to spend anything in store. You just needed to go and collect it in store. Um, so I've got these and realized I haven't used them yet because they've been sitting in my unboxing pile all month. Um, but I will get them out and put them somewhere today, ready for Christmas. So that was quite a nice competition from m and <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've got something here. And I'm going to open it quietly because uh, rise upstairs. I need to present them for Christmas. Okay. Um, so I know what it is. It is these. So. 10 lots of these. Um, this was in the Purchase Necessary competition. So if you bought um, a pack of these, uploaded a receipt to the website, you went into a weekly prize draw with loads of prizes. They did something similar last year, I think, and I won in that as well. Um, I can't remember if it's still going till the end of the month, I'm afraid, on that one. But uh, if it is, I'll leave a link in the description. So uh, I just bought one pack from WH Smith and won 10. So that's cool. And then it's a little something for Christmas. So put those safely away. <clears throat> right, we've got something that's a familiar prize if you watch my unboxings regularly. Uh, what could it be? Hmm, this shape seems strangely, strangely familiar. So it's a football, of course it's a football because the World Cup has just finished and there was loads of World Cup related competition. This is actually a really good um, football. It's come from Euro Soccer Company and they do really uh, good quality football equipment. Um, so this is one of those footballs that we will definitely hang on to and Ryland will be using this. I think when he's 14 he can start kicking a size 5 range. Uh, and this is a really nice one. So it's a Stano football. And for this competition, uh, the World Cup competition, um, it's a Facebook competition, you had to leave a comment and there were two prizes, two footballs. Uh, for the person who got the correct score, I think it was the Costa Rica-Spain match and the person who guessed the minute of the first goal and I got the minute of the first goal and I put, I think, eight or nine minutes. It was when I think they thrashed them eight nails so there were loads of goals. Um, so that was a nice surprise because I don't win or enter many Facebook competitions really, but I do, I like the football challenge ones, guess the score, things like that. So thank you, Euro Soccer Company, for that. Uh, next one is, ah, oh, this one. I think, I think this is one that that I didn't officially win. I've had a few of those this year. Isn't it nice when you've got friends who tag you on Instagram and then they win you a prize as well and it's so sweet, isn't it? So I think that's what this one is by the looks of who it's sent from. <clears throat> Very well packed, this one. I'm surprised actually that these things are actually turning up before Christmas because the post is terrible at the moment. I'm getting a delivery once a week. 
Luckily, I've been using all my prize Amazon vouchers from earlier this year, and we've got Amazon Prime, so I've managed to get most of my Christmas presents just by using those prize vouchers, and they've all come on time. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we have here, this is a very, very smart um, coffee tin. That's really nice, isn't it? How lovely. Really lovely design. Actually, it's so nice. I feel like I'm going to be keeping something else in this. And then inside, ooh, oh, that smells lovely. So we've got a little pink coffee scoop and a bag of, okay, this is Dr. Congo All Press Espresso Coffee. So that is, smells lovely. You know what? I don't, I don't generally drink caffeine. I don't drink Coke or coffee. However, I do like an espresso martini occasionally. And I wonder if this might be perfect to use for one of those over the Christmas period. Um, so this is from Rap Magazine, who are doing this. And it was just an Instagram tag and you and your friend win. And I have to thank London Rose for that, M, for tagging me. Thank you very much, M. Really appreciate it. That's a really lovely little gift. Um, chuffed with that, thank you. And right, okay, one more, I think. And then I've got one to tell you about as well. So this parcel has come all the way from Spain, uh, which I didn't really expect. First time I've had a prize delivered from Spain, I think. Um, what do we gain here? Whatever. Feels like early Christmas doing this in front of the tree, dressed like an elf. Oh, it's a box within a box. Box one, done. Okay. Box two. No, there's a clue shape of those can you guess what's in there if i tell you that i can hear liquid gurgling oh nice here we go so let me turn that around so you can see i was just expecting a bottle of wine but it looks like there's some extras in here as well so i won't tip it you know what's going to fall out if i do that um this is a bottle of this is one of my favorite wines um when well we go to spain a lot on holiday but i think the first time i had this was probably when i won a trip to um Spain back in the day. I think we won two wine tasting trips and I tried this and it's fantastic. So it's Martin Kodak's Albarino and this was a prize with Martin Kodak's actually on, I follow them on Instagram. So it was just um, a comment to enter. So as well as that lovely Albarino wine, it looks like there is a, a bauble maybe? Is it bauble? Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Mind you, it's very heavy. Very heavy bauble. Might be too heavy for our tree. Let's try it. I've just remembered as well, talking of winning prizes for friends, is they also said, because I tagged my friend Sue in the competition, they were going to send Sue a prize as well. So fingers crossed, Sue's had her delivery too, in time for Christmas. Right, I've tucked it, tucked it into the Christmas tree there. Very nice. And uh, what's this? Candle. candle, a candle that smells of wine, could be, oh, oh yeah, it is a candle, uh, this is, ah, oh, gingerbread, mmm, oh, that is lovely, mmm, we're going away for Christmas, actually, we're doing a sort of, um, Airbnb so we can go and stay near my mum and dad because there's no room at their bungalow, um, so we're wondering what to take with us, like a few decorations, um, and I think a candle, a gingerbread candle would be perfect to take with us. We're also taking Nana with us, of course. Um, that's a really lovely prize, isn't it? So thank you very much, Martin Kodak's. Lovely. Maybe I'll get that wine in the fridge too, ready to be drinking over Christmas. Um, one second. I just need to check my list of if there's anything I've forgotten to tell you about. Let's see. Where's my notes? Unboxing notes. 
Uh, oh, I won um, on the Vodafone Elf and Seek .com, which is one of the little AR games that you do on your phone and you have to wave your phone around like a lunatic and then tap on the elf when you see it. Uh, I just had a little instant win of a chilly movie code on that one. Uh, that was a couple of days ago. And finally, the other prize I need to tell you about is a really cool one, which um, I entered on last Saturday when I started to feel a little bit better. So I got enthused and I thought I'm going to do some creative comps. Um, so I, I got I got Ryland to do his keepy uppies um, for the Duracell Bunny competition. And then I dressed up as a turkey in an upside down jumper for the Tesco comp. Um, and then I also did a um, the Noddy Holder one as well. And but the one that I won is the first direct spend competition, which was on TikTok, and you had to dress up as what you like spending money on. Um, so it was kind of like um, uh, what's the word? Oh, I can't think of the word. But you know, a lot of people do it on TikTok, and here I am before and transformation. That's it. Transformation at the end. Here I am after. So it was just me in the kitchen turned into a chef and I wanted to spend my money on cookery lessons because I really want to do Japanese Korean cookery lessons so I did that it was just a random draw but the competition on TikTok I would say there was probably maximum 15 20 entries um, most of which I think are in my Facebook group because somebody kindly shared it in there for us to see um, however the terms and conditions were quite strict it was no under 18s in the video you can't mention any other brands you can't enter on behalf of someone else um, so there was probably six or seven videos that just weren't valid entries anyway because they got kids in because they'd mentioned um, they got Vans shoes in so I, I kind of knew at the time that that when I looked actually it's probably quite good odds of winning so there were five winners we each got 500 quid cash um, and also they so they sent the winning message on Monday and the the money was in the bank on Tuesday which is fantastic really well done I think 11 miles with the agency dealing with that one so thank you super efficient and just an amazing win just before Christmas and it was great as well because I don't think I've done any TikTok since the summer I just haven't <clears throat> I haven't been in the frame of mind to do the fun creative videos and for some reason the last week I felt super festive and ridiculous and I've got into it again so um, definitely enjoying that at the moment so anyway I'm going to stop nattering now because Rylan wants to come back in here and get on the PlayStation and he's probably fed up of waiting for me so I will be back at the well after Christmas to finish this video off just before New Year. Hello again it's just a couple of hours since I actually just recorded that unboxing uh, but in that time the postman has brought these two parcels I have a funny feeling they might be something that I need in time for Christmas so I'm going to open them now and check feel very soft perhaps like something to wear maybe to have opened this quite poorly here we go right Ooh. Ah. not the one I was expecting I've forgotten about this to be honest it is of course um, the Carling football shirt so this is the instant win competition which was where you had to save penalties and score penalties but it really didn't matter what you did because it was pre-decided whether you're going to be a winner or not. It was an algorithm instant win, I think. Or was it winning moments? Anyway, your skill did not matter. It was just your sort of time of entry that mattered, really. So this is four shirts. Uh, extra, extra large, extra large, large and medium. So let's have a look at the medium, which would be more likely my size. Uh, these are quite nice, actually. There we are. So, Carling. Umbro football shirt. It's quite nice actually. Really subtle carling branded on that. I think they're quite good. You know what? I am seeing my half brother this Christmas and my two nephews and I wonder if they might appreciate these shirts. So perhaps I will put them in my bag to take to Wales with me. So brilliant. Thanks carling for that. Um, this one is indeed Christmassy wrapping, so perhaps it's a bit more festive than football shirts. Let's see. Mm -mm. Yes, this one's definitely more festive. 
the football shirt because look what it is. It's the Nutella Christmas jumper. Now, I ordered this in the smallest size, hoping that maybe it'll fit Ryland. fit him actually, I don't know, might probably just about fit me, maybe. <laughs> so that's cute isn't it? So this was in the Nutella recipe competition where you had to create a recipe, upload a photograph of what you've made with your Nutella. So um, me and Rye made flapjacks and put Nutella on top of our flapjacks for his school lunchbox. Um, so that's really cute and it's nice that it's coming time for Christmas, that's a really sweet jumper. So thank you very much to Nutella for that. Um, I am expecting one other Christmas jumper. I don't think it's going to come in time, but we'll see. Bye for now. Hello there. It is the 30th of December, so it's the last instalment of the last unboxing of 2022. I've got one more thing to open here, and today I'm working in Rob's office, so I'm doing my unboxing in here as well. So let's find out what my final prize of the year is. Fragile. Sounds like there might be liquid in this one. Lots of paper and okay, so here is the actual prize. Oh, right, here we go. Yes, lovely. So, it's a shame we didn't come in time for Christmas, really, because I wanted to give this a gift. However, I'm going to stash it away and use it for a birthday gift instead. Um, so this is Aberfeldy Whiskey, 21-year-old, limited release, single malt scotch. Um, so, here we go. Very nice packaging as well. Um, and this was a competition on the Master of Malt website. So... They do quite a lot of competitions. Obviously, they do Whiskey Santa, which is massive. But if you check their blog regularly, they have promotions where if you buy a certain whiskey, you can win prizes. And for this particular one, um, if you ordered any Aberfeldy whiskey, you got a little flyer in your delivery with a QR code, and you could go to the website, and there was an instant win with at least one daily prize um, for a couple of weeks. Um, and also there was a prize draw to win a trip actually up to Aberfeldy as well, which I'm, uh, is in Scotland. So yes, I did the instant win and I won this 21 year old bottle of whiskey, which I think is worth about £140. So I spent about £30 on the bottle of whiskey, which I gave to my dad for Christmas because he loves whiskey. And then this one, I think I'll put aside and give this one to Rob on his birthday because he loves whiskey, but he did get a couple of bottles for Christmas, so he doesn't need any just yet. Um, but again, this is one of those prizes where, you know, if you need to buy the product anyway, even though it's quite expensive, it's definitely worth just looking for any opportunity to win a prize. If you're buying a bottle of spirits for someone, check on all the websites and check if you can actually win something else when you buy it as a gift. So brilliant. Really pleased with that. Thank you, Master of Malt. And that's a nice end to the year. And talking of ending the year, I, of course, have published my roundup on super lucky of everything well the highlights of what i've won this year my statistics so i've won 132 prizes in total um they're worth just over 17,000 pounds in total which i'm really pleased with uh, obviously last year in 2021 i won 35,000 pounds of prizes but 25,000 pounds of that was my massive brew dog win and um, so i've done really well this year I uh, had lots of fun comping, lots of different kind of prizes as usual, a couple of nice TikTok wins, a couple of radio wins, quite a few text competitions. Um, you can see all the statistics in my blog post, but it's been a really fun year um, and enjoyed it very much. But of course, 2023 is going to be even better. Um, I'm hoping loads of you watching have got your copy of my bootcamp planner, uh, which I've already started writing in. I'm getting my New Year's resolutions in there, my wish list. And my goals for January so lots of ideas and of course if you do get a copy of this join me in the Boot Compass Facebook group where I'm sharing video guides and hopefully things that will help you win more prizes next year and motivate you to get comping um, so look forward to seeing loads of you in Lucky Learners and in the Boot Compass group I'm going to be busy in both those groups over the next week or so just getting everything ready for the new year 
um, getting price spreadsheets set up, getting your wish list done, New Year's resolutions, and just getting super organized so you're ready when all the brands get back to work next week in January and start running amazing new competitions. So I hope you've had a great year as well. Thanks again for enjoying the blog, for contributing, for commenting on YouTube and on the website, for posting in Lucky Learners and sharing competitions that you find really love that and also just telling me about your wins um people have had massive massive big wins this year uh, i think three of the Kit Kat dream ten thousand pound road trips went to members of lucky learners um, big cash register wins as well it's been really exciting seeing seeing you share all those wins big and small to be honest because even the little wins are brilliant aren't they so wishing you loads of luck for a fantastic 2023 and i will see you very soon Bye-bye.